Welcome to Lecture 2. In this module, we will create a unique representation of a digital twin using sensor data and show this on our integrated dashboard. We will create the chart shown in this image. The 3D representation of the strawberry and the ARVR part will be the subject of the next module. Now I want to stress that the visualizations that you will make will not be the best way to represent the current data, but they will serve as a starting point to discuss how to improve this. We will again use Visual Studio Code as our programming environment. In the project structure you will again have an indexed HTML file where we will plot our graphs. This will link to a main.js file in the JS folder where the data is loaded from either the sample dataset or our server. The data will be cleaned using the data dictionary and strawberry data utils that we created in the previous module. Then, the code for the three visualizations that we will create will be in BoundGraph.js, BoxPlot.js, and StreamGraph.js. We will also use the live server again as an extension. While in the previous module we used Plotly to create tables, it also allows for creating basic charts, not only the familiar line, bar and pie charts, but also more complex charts familiar to the statistical and scientific community. However, your freedom in how to represent the data is still limited. That's why we choose D3.js as our framework of choice in creating the data visualizations. In fact, Plotly.js is built on top of D3.js. D3.js helps you represent your data any way you like, as you can see from the examples in the image below. 